Hello and welcome back. In this video, let's talk about freight insurance. This is one of the uh, uh, topic that I also get asked quite a bit, and uh, that let's cover it uh, very very quickly. Okay. Um, so, when do you need freight insurance, right? Um, well, that's not um, something that you will be required to do if you don't want to, right? However. Um, you know, while product damage um, is quite rare, and um, you know, out of all the years that I have been working in international trade, I really, really have the need of using insurance, right? But there was one time that um, um, you know, a client of mine um, had their product of uh, shipped from the Philippines and then. Uh, ran into some storm uh, during the summer and basically the entire entire um, um, you know the entire vessel of a container just fell under the sea right so um, in that scenario yes you will need freight insurance okay so you just never know when it's going to happen so really it's up to you whether you want to or you don't want to it's not mandatory but um, <clears throat> You know, if it's something that you can afford and allow within your profit margin, then uh, you know it's a good thing that you do consider, right? Um, especially if you are shipping high value products. Okay, mostly if it's electronic or something like that, or garment. Garment could be really, really expensive. I had this client who um, does uh, bridal wear, right, and uh, the invoice value is extremely, extremely high. Okay, so anything like a leaking container or something like that, um, it could really ruin the, their uh, bridal wear. Okay, so in that scenario, yes, uh, freight insurance is definitely necessary, right? So, garment, shoes, electronics. Okay, um, so yeah, um, if you are shipping high value product, do consider having freight insurance. Okay, and uh, you know, you can just, um, um, you know, shipping. Uh, you know, with shipping companies, airlines, warehouse, right? Whatever it is, um, you know, any of this uh, this location, they usually only have a limited liability to what they will pay you, and those are all with you know within the airway bill and uh, um, you know which is contract you have with the shipping companies and stuff like that. That they will only compensate you for a very very small percentage. Um, or actually not percentage, but they will only compensate you just, you know, um, a, a fixed amount, okay, uh, if there's no insurance covered, okay? So beware of that, all right? So um, that's it for this video, very short video. I hope it's uh, valuable to you and uh, will help you decide, you know, whether you want to use your uh, um, insurance or not. All right. So that's it. And I will see you on the next video.